What's up dudes, my name is Nick. Welcome to another one of my little K-pop news videos. This one we just wanted to talk real quickly about the fact that the member Chin Yi from Oh My Girl, who was most previously like in the news and people were concerned about her because she was going on hiatus from participating with that group, I think it was way back in April or something like that, because she was going to be dealing with her anorexia problem. And WM Entertainment has revealed or announced today, yesterday, whatever, that she is actually going to be withdrawing from the group. So that's, of course, going to leave Oh My Girl uh, one letter short of being able to spell out the group the, the group name like they did with their debut uh, in, in some of their images for their debut. And that is super, super unfortunate. But, of course... You know, as sad as sad as it is that uh, Oh My Girl has to lose a member of their group, so you know they're not as strong as they once were to some people. Um, there is definitely like something that is really, really good about this, and it's the fact that they're you know kind of letting that the, that they're cutting her go, that they're, that they're letting her go so that she can focus on you know being a healthy human being. Um, I mean, you can we we can debate whether it's for like altruistic reasons, whether they actually like genuinely care about her health, or because she's actually a liability to the group. We we can talk about that. Um, but that we, that that's a debate that I don't think is uh, necessarily to be had right now. Um, but of course, it doesn't necessarily apply to her in general, but to everyone in K-pop. Um, but you know, regardless of whatever the motivations are behind it, it's, you know, really, really nice to see once again, as we've seen, uh, you know, more frequently in the, in the last year or so, that there is a, yet another K-pop company that, you know, is making a decision that on the very surface of it is something that is in favor and is supporting the, the, the health and putting the health of their idols before their own monetary gains, which is, is something that is really, really good. So, you know, I think that regardless of whether they're doing it, because if they don't take care of her, then they're going to get bad press. Um, you know, whatever whatever their motivation is, whether it's actually like because they feel because they're actually being good, decent people, or because you know it just is the, it's just this business. Um, ultimately, it's it, I think it's a beneficial thing because you know in the past it's kind of been like you know we got to force you to do these things that you're not physically fit to do, whether you're actually like physically injured or you're sick or you're mentally ill or something like that. Like an eat like anorexia and eating disorder is it's a mental illness more than anything else. Um, you know, companies have kind of forced idols to do things that they weren't up to the task. They were not healthy to do because if they didn't, then it was something that was actually going to be bad for business. And it, it's good to see that companies are kind of straying away from that in favor of, you know, on the surface at least, caring for idols' um, actual health. So as sad as sad as it is, and that that Ginny has to that Ginny has to leave. Oh my girl, and that over the you know that she wasn't able to you know, deal, deal with her, with her anorexia and still continue being a part of, oh my girl, it's really, really sad. But, but at the same time, it's a really, really good thing for her because, you know, she can, can focus on getting better instead of, you know, potentially being distracted or being put under pressure. You know, we talked about the whole body image thing in K-pop a couple weeks ago um, to 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 continue with her anorexia, which is, is you know, being in K-pop is not a healthy environment to you know live in, or being in the entertainment industry in general is not the the most healthy environment when you're dealing with anorexia like that. So you know, it, it's good and it's ultimately a really a, a net benefit for her health. So. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, at some point in the future, we will see her back um, doing something, whether that's like acting or you know some solo work, or she's going to join another group or something like that. You know, fingers crossed that something works out for her like that. But if it doesn't, then you know ultimately she's going to have a better quality of life outside of the you know idle lifestyle or out of that spot outside of the spotlight that you know the entertainment industry would put on her, and you know she's going to you know, thrive more now than she potentially would have in the past or if, if she'd continued as a part as a part of this group. So, um, you know, like I said, ultimately, you know, for her own personal, you know, gain and her own personal and her future in, in general, this is ultimately going to be a net benefit for 
um, everybody involved, the company, the group, and also Ginny herself. So that's really all, all I got to say, just super quick video. Obviously, this is not a super controversial or um, you know, factionally deep kind of news thing, but something I think was relevant. And, you know, of course you want to chime in every time that, uh, a group loses a member because it's always, you know, not a fun thing for anybody. Like nobody likes it when, 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 when a member has to leave a group or they, they quit or anything like that. So that's all I got to say. Leave your, leave your feedback, leave your general thoughts and all that stuff on this whole entire story and the situation, Ginny, anorexia and K-pop and whatever, um, down in the comments below, just discuss it or on my girl in general. Um, you know, which just, just share whatever your thoughts are, whether you, you know, whether people are going to, are going to, you know, appreciate it or not. Like seriously, don't be worried about that. Cause I'm trying to fill, you know, build up a community here that is all about having some free and open discussion about whatever it is that we think. So if you see somebody that you disagree with, then just remember, be kind as you disagree with them and, you know, don't attack them for it. Everyone has, everyone's opinion is, you know, somewhat valid. Try and understand their side, you know, hear what they got to say and then, you know, counter that with also good conversation. So that's all I got to say, you know, just whatever. If you want to join that community, like kind of forgot my whole outro thing. If you want to join that community, of course, then please click on the subscribe button down below. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.